Alright, thanks for tuning in. I got something to share this morning that I think everybody's going to want to see. Uh, after you watch this video, there's it's a certainty that you're not going to touch this product again. You're not going to consume it. You're not going to feed it to your kids. And in fact, you're probably going to share this to tell people they need to stay the hell away from this product. So, let's not mess around with it. Let's just jump right in. Alright, so the product in question that we are discussing today is Breyers Ice Cream. Okay? You can see right at the top there, it says Family Classic. The reason I've got problems with this is I noticed that it doesn't melt. So ice cream melts, period. That's the end of it. Ice cream melts. Why does this not melt? So if you go to the ingredient label on this, it actually says modified milk ingredients. Well that's scary in itself, modified milk ingredients, and I went and got some comparables. Uh, I've got some farmer's ice cream here, I've got some Scottsburn ice cream here. Farmer says milk and cream. Scottsburn says milk and cream. Briar says modified milk ingredients and I also have uh, this brand here and it says modified milk ingredients. Now this is a premium product. These are one of the most expensive ice creams you can buy next to Haagen-Dazs or Ben and Jerry's. So I'm going to put this product against this product. They're both modified milk products and I'm also going to put these two products with the milk and cream side by side and then we're going to do a comparable of all four and you're going to be shocked at where we land. Okay, so now you can see that we've got our ice cream laid out, we've got our, our tubs behind it, our ice cream in front of it. It's just after 8 a.m. in the morning right now. I think the house is 22 degrees Celsius. So it shouldn't take very much time for that to melt at all. But we're going to leave this for the whole day. So I'm going to come back this evening and we're going to look at what we've got going on here. And you're just going to be appalled by it. And I also want to point out as well, the Oreo ice cream, it comes with a safety tab right there that you have to bust to open the ice cream. So that's great. The Briars ice cream comes with nothing. So, you know, there's a lot of freaky stuff that goes on. There's a lot of disgruntled people that work in places that they shouldn't. Being able to just pop the top and have direct, direct access to what the consumer is going to eat and the top doesn't even fit on very well. Like it's this cheapy, cheapo little freaking calf. I don't think that's right. The Scottsburn comes with a plastic uh, film on the top so that you know that no one's been screwing with your stuff. But the fact that this here, the lid basically falls off of it, that's a whole other red flag for this all by itself. So I'm going to come back tonight and I'm going to show you where we're at. Another thing too is if you look at the nutritional facts on the side of these ice cream containers, you're going to see that they're all almost the same. I think the Oreo ice cream carries an extra 40 calories per half a cup because it's stuffed full of chocolate Oreos. But the point that I'm making is, if all the nutritional facts for all four of our comparable ice creams that we're using are the same, but we have some ice creams that are way lesser than others, that states the fact that you need to use fresh real products and not something that was cooked up in a lab. So you take a look at the nutritional facts yourself, you tell me what you think. Okay, so we've had the whole afternoon to allow this stuff to melt. Um, I hope to God you didn't have a big bowl of Briar's ice cream last night because if you did, you're going to be dissatisfied with how this turns out for you. Um, I'm just going to put them out one by one, give you some shots of how it turned out and then we're going to move past that and I've got some samples that I set out 10 days ago and have been sitting out on the counter. Again, our house is 18 to 22 degrees Celsius and it's just been sitting there cultivating for 10 days and it's going to blow your mind what we got going on. So let's do it. Okay, so as you can see in that clip, the Briars ice cream has not melted at all. 
It is still a bowl of ice cream. It hasn't changed in any appearance whatsoever. It is the same shape, the same consistency, the same everything as when we put it in that bowl this morning. That goes against everything that ice cream is. The Oreo ice cream, which is comparable, it's also a milk-based ingredient product, has completely melted. The chocolate has completely melted, and the mocha fudge from Scottsburn has completely melted. So. I'm tell like I mean that alone, the fact that ice cream doesn't melt, you shouldn't be eating this crap. Let's take it further. And just for any skeptics out there that don't believe that this is the bowl that we melted this morning, watch this. You can see right down there, it the liquid. You see that? This is the melted ice cream. Like I'm not screwing around here. This is the melted ice cream. It's dis that's just disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting. Okay, so what we're gonna move into now is I've got ice cream in a smaller bowl, smaller portion that has been sitting for five days. Now, I already took this footage and I'm just gonna edit it into this. And then today we're gonna show you the 10 day finale of what that same ice cream looks like and you're gonna be blown away. So we'll just do a quick clip to show you the five day old stuff. for this because we're wrapping it up. We are going to show you the 10 day ice cream. It has been sitting on the counter, room temperature, 10 days, haven't touched it, haven't wiggled it, haven't left it in the sun. It's been sitting under the cupboard by the toaster, 10 days. Watch this, it's nasty. It's got some sick bile looking stuff that is floating around the outside. So not only does it not melt, but it, f it ferments in the most, oh my God, kind of way, disgusting. I tried to zoom in to see what the hell that is and I don't know, but the smell that that is kicking off is terrible. The other ice creams, you couldn't even tell anything at all. That ice cream, it stinks like rotten arse. It's got some kind of sick, bile liquid floating around it and I hope to God you're not eating this crap because that's exactly what it is. It's crap. If you look at all the ingredients on the back of these things, they're all pretty much the same. You look at the nutritional value, the vitamin A, B, C, D, it's all pretty damn close to the same thing. So if that's the case, then what is Briars putting in their ice cream that's making it poison? Okay, are you ready for this one too? Let's take it a little bit further. I haven't touched the ice cream container since we took the ice cream out. Now this is the stuff that I scooped out today, not the stuff that's been sitting for 10 days, okay? Room temperature, the whole nine yards. Do you think it melted? Or do you think it looks like I pulled it out of the freezer right now? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Pop the top. Look at that. Is that horrible or what? That ice cream has been sitting on the counter all day long. Look at it. It's still ice cream. It's still hasn't moved, looks like I scooped it, nothing to it. It's been on the counter all day. Ice cream that doesn't melt. Well folks, I'm not sure what else to say. I mean, here we have it. That's Briar's ice cream, family classic. Um, you make whatever choice you want to, but I'll tell you right now that I'm making my choice and I will never, ever consume this stuff again. The fact that it doesn't melt, I mean, that is ice cream that I scooped out earlier. It, it didn't melt, like it's been there all day. Ice cream in a bowl, okay? It didn't melt, it's been there all day. I mean, and then the one with the mold on it, you know, if all the ice creams that we tried in the same heat, the same conditions, the same everything, if they all molded, sure, no problem. But the fact that it's the only one that molded, 
It has that sick bile looking stuff on the outside. Not for me. This is a type of video that you should share. Share it with your friends, share it on your Facebook, share it on your whatever, but let people know. I mean, they don't, they, they shouldn't be eating this crap. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. I made it just to kind of build some awareness. And I do feel like consumers need to pay more attention to the relevance of the products that they buy and that we are putting in our bodies. So thanks very much for watching.